Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. Amen. We're going to uh, good afternoon, everybody. We're going to Chakma, Shalomah 4, page 1122. And witnesses of weakness, wickedness is the subject today. Witnesses of weakness. You go to Elohim, we come before you to say thank you. Thank you for letting us come out here this afternoon and give a word, to have a word for us. So thank you. To hear, be to hear your word and your truth. Thank you for your love, mercy, and grace that is upon our life. And we ask you, you would help us to be uh, Baruch to others, help us to be a doer of all that word and all that truth. Ask me to give us of all our sins and all our iniquities and help us to do better in your word and in your truth. Do things that are pleasing to you. In Kadash's name, we Yeshua HaMasiah, we do say, Amen. 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 He says, you know, we're here today just to say, give an encouraging word, Amen. We gotta understand that we all bear witness to wickedness and that if we see wickedness that we should just want to shun from it and not do it. Amen. Because it's an example of us as the people that are going into what that burning hell. And if we say that we don't want to go into that burning hell, let us not follow the same example of doing wickedness, of doing evil and being sinful. Let us go up there and be what? Kadash people. A people that is loving of Yeshua Hamasaid. Amen. Amen. Number four and one. And it says, Better it is to have no children and to have virtue, for the memorial thereof is immortal, because it is known with Elohim and with men. It is better to have a memorial with Elohim. Then go out there and try to be remembered by men because he's going to know us. Yes. And he's going to know all our deeds and everything that we had done. Yes. And so we want to be remembered by him, you know, by Elohim, by Yahuwah. Because so we're not remembered by Yahuwah. And he puts us in that grave, he puts us in that hell bound cell, in hell. Because the hour you wake up, we chose hell then it's too late. That's how come we want to be choosing that that is righteous, that that is Kadash at all times, living a Kadash life, being a Kadash child of Yahuwah Elohim, walking in all what, all his commandments, all his mitzvahs, all his statutes, doing everything that he says, doing those things that are pleasing unto him. Number two, when it is present, Men take example at it, and when it's gone, they desire it. It wears a crown and triumphs forever, having gotten the victory, striving for what undefiled reward. Striving for, for pureness of heart. And when we walk in pureness of heart, when we have received wisdom, that we're striving to get it, that we're, and wisdom is the fear of Yahuwah. And being and the understanding is by be, becoming obedient to Him, living the life. That's the most important thing we can do is live the life according to what Torah says. You see, we got to get out of this thing. What my preacher say, what my apostles say, but what does Torah say? A lot of people go out there and say that well, it's all right for them to walk in things that are filthy and uh, an abomination in the eyes of Yahuwah. Women walking around in uh, pants and uh, cutting their hair short. Males walking around in what? Short, long hair, earrings in their ears. Amen. And see, and it's, this is not a pleasing thing to you, who? But they say that my pastor said that it's all right. But what does Torah say? Torah says that a woman should not wear those things that pertain to a man, nor should a man wear those things that pertain to a woman. Come out. Okay. That don't you know that it's a, a, a evil that a man should have his hair long? 
this makes you teach us. Amen. So, you know, we want to do things according to what Torah says. Yes. And not according to what the styles of the day, not according to what the hypocrites say that it's all right, because we know that the devil changes with every whim and way, and that he wants to uh, make sure that we don't make it into his kingdom. Yes. To the kingdom of Yahuwah Elohim. He wants to make sure that we don't do it. So he's going to go up there and distract us. He's going to go up there and say, hey, it's not all that bad. Look at it. Think about this. Well, what's wrong with you having long hair? What's wrong with you in pants? You know, you being a, a female. Is this clothing? What's wrong with you not keeping the Shabbat the Sabbath day? You going to church? And it'll put all these thoughts in your head and you begin to think that, oh, well, it's all right. Because somebody else is doing it, and because uh, uh, some preacher says that it's okay. Well, you better understand what this Torah say. Amen. He says, but the multiplying brood of the wicked shall not strive, nor take deep rooting from bastard lips nor lay any fast foundation. For though they flourish in branches for a time, yet standing not last, they shall be shaken with the wind. And though the force of winds, they shall be rooted out. So it may look like that the wicked are prospering. It may look like the wicked are doing okay and that they're all right. But as you heard said, it's just for a short time, it's just for a matter of time that the wicked is going to be looking like they're prosperous. But their time is getting ready to come to an end mm -hmm. where they have to go there and pay the price by going, they're going to spend eternity in hell. Uh, that's a heavy price to pay. That your soul is being tormented and being burned forever and ever. Amen. Why? Because of the wickedness and the evil that you have done, that you have committed throughout your life. Because he is giving each and every person a chance to re what? repent of our sins. I know about what you ways to make a change. To make a change, I let him change. Amen. A chance to be what? Kadash, and to be holy, to be righteous, to be pure. And that's what we want to be. We want to be a Kadash people. That's what. Because I you associate that with the word holy. Amen. He says, <clears throat> verse number six, excuse me, verse five, the imperfect branches shall be broken off, their fruit unprofitable, not ripe to eat, yea, meat for nothing. For children begotten of Torahless beds are witnesses of wickedness against their parents in their trial. See? They know and you see the evil that's being wrought, that's being done. All the wickedness is being done. You bear witness to it. You can see it because you see your parents, uh, you see the parents doing it. You see forefathers doing the same wickedness, and then you want to go up there and do the same thing. See, because a lot of people know the truth. They know the truth about the Sabbath. They know the truth about the holy days. They know the truth about uh, women in pants. And they know the truth about women having short hair. They know the truth about male, males having long hair, about wearing shorts. But nevertheless, they still want to walk in this evil. They still want to walk in this wickedness. And in the eyes of Yahuwah Elohim is an abomination. And all these abominations are being brought forth. They can be seen. Bear witness of them. He says, don't do them. He says, you children are begotten of what? A toilet. And it means the children are being brought up without having knowledge of Torah. Not having knowledge of the Kadash words are you who? Who he is? See, because people these days they don't bring what their children to the house of Yahuwah. 
They don't teach them about you who are at home. They don't have their own way. They're letting these TVs and videos and uh, telephones bring up their what their children, raising their children. They're not letting Torah. They're not teaching children Torah. The word of Yahuwah. And it's a crying shame. He says, but through the righteous, but though the righteous be pre prevented with death, yet shall he be in rest. For honorable age is not that which stands in less of time, nor that is measured by number of years. See? It's where you're going to spend eternity. That's, that's what's going to measure. Where will you spend eternity? Not the length of time or how many years that you stayed here upon this earth. But where will you spend eternity? Where will your soul spend eternity at? Will it spend eternity with Yahuwah Elohim? Or will it spend eternity in that burning hell? And see, those are the only two places that we can spend eternity. See? And so you have to make a choice. You have to make a conscious choice of why you're living. Why we're living. Why we still have breath. Why the blood is still pumping through our bodies. This is the time that we must make that choice. The choice is now. Right now. Hallelujah. And it's going to be determined on how we live. Not what we say. Because I can say that I could die all day long, but if I do that, that is evil. If I do that, that is wicked. If Amen. I be sinful, then I'm going to end up in that burning hell. Amen. I can stand up here and preach. I can stand up here and teach. I can sing Zion songs all day long. Live but if I'm not living a Kadash life, if I'm not living the Kadash word, the Torah, Amen. then I will be in that burning hell. Amen. Amen. That go for anybody. Amen. That go for anybody. So it's the life that we live yes, that's going to determine where we spend eternity. It no matter how how long we've been here, but oh, it's how we have lived. With the Hallelujah. time that we had here. Hallelujah. Thank you. That's it. Thank you, Abiyo. I'm going to please you. He says, number 10, He pleases Elohim and was beloved of him for that living among sinners he was translated. He's talking about Enoch. Yet speedily was he taken away, lest the wickedness should alter his understanding, or deceit beguile his soul? For the bewitching of wickedness obscures things that are honest, and the wandering of lustful desires undermines the simple mind. See, bewitching of wickedness, you know, it hides, it hides truth. We can just hide truth. It tries to hide truth. Come on. It tries to hide that that is righteous. It hides that that is uh, pleasing to Elohim. It's a deceived. It's a deceiving spirit. Yes, it is. It covers the up pureness of heart. Amen. That's how come it's so important. That we strive to be righteous, that we strive to be pure, that we strive to be Kadash, and that we're asking Yeshua Elohim to what to dwell in us, to live in us, and to live the life for us. Amen. That we don't succumb to evil, that we don't succumb to doing that is wicked. Hallelujah. You know. Anything, even the small what even appears to be the smallest thing. That appears to be wicked, we should not be a partaker of it. Because just a little bit of loving, it will, it destroys the whole load. It lumbers the whole load. Just a little bit. Thank you. Yet speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding or deceit beguile his soul. For the bewitching of wickedness has scared things that are honest, and the wandering of lustful desire undermines the simple mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, 
being made perfect in a short time, fulfilled a long time. For so pleased Yahuwah. Therefore he hastened to take him away from among the wicked. See, that's what we want Yahuwah to do for us. We want him to what, purify our souls, purify our hearts. You know, turn us away from what doing that that is wicked. Turn us away from doing that that is evil. Then when he takes us, he takes us with what with a pure heart. He takes us away from the wicked. He takes us away from that that is sinful. You know, a lot of times you may think, wonder, well, how, why do people that you know used to hang out with, be with? How come they no longer want to be with you? Because your spirit is no longer like theirs. Your spirit no longer has a desire to do that that is evil. Your reactive has changed. Your, your, your reactive is different. Yes, it is. You know, now you have a react like Yahuwah. And people of the world do not want the spirit, do not want the react of Yahuwah. They want that that's of the world. In fact, the Torah tells us that the people love the people of the world. They love one another. And you that are Kadash, we that are Kadash, the world does not love. The world loves what is own. We're not part, we're in this world, but we should not be part of this world. We should not be doing the same things that the evil ones are doing. We should not be doing walking in evil. We should not be walking in wickedness. We don't dance the way they dance. We don't sing the way they sing. We don't speak the way they speak. We don't live the way that they live. We don't walk the way they, they walk. Hallelujah. But we are different. We have become what a peculiar people. You know. Why? Because we want to obey the laws and the statutes and the commandments and the mitzvahs of Yahuwah. You know. When we are Kadash people, that's what exactly what we want to do. He says, number 15, this the people saw and understood it not. Neither laid they up this in their mind. There is grace and mercy is with his Kadashian. And it's Kadashim, uh, Kadashim are the saints. Mm -hmm. Those that are Kadash, those that are what are filled with his what, Riyadh. And that he has what respect unto his children. He gives respect to the ones that he has chosen to come out of the den of iniquity, out of the cesspool of wickedness. He respect for us to tell others the truth. And there's an expectation when he has chosen us. There's an expectation that we will what? Speak truth. Not only speak truth, yeah, but we will live truth. That we live Kadash. Not sometimes, all the time. but at all times. Yes. See, that's what is expected of us. To be seekers of him. Yeah, a lot of people want to know, well, how do you go into the seat? Well, how do you go into a different body? Because he, we were seeking truth. We've been seeking truth ever since he allowed us to become ministers in his ministry. Yes. We've been seeking truth. This is his ministry. Yes, it is. And he's been leading us and guiding us. We don't, we don't have our laws. We don't have our laws and, and, and all. The, the Torah is our law. Yes. The Torah is our way. Amen. The Torah. Whatever the Torah says, that is what we must do. Yes. And that's how we live. Okay. Is by, by Torah. Thank you. He says, number 16, Thus the righteous that is dead shall condemn the wicked which are living, and you that is soon perfected the many years and old age of the unrighteous. For they shall see the end of the wise and shall not understand what Elohim in his counsel has decreed to him. So to what end Yahuwah has set him in safety? They won't see. 
how he has set us safely aside. They won't see us in the kingdom, in the Shamayim, standing by the side of Yahuwah, worshiping and praising Yahuwah Elohim. So they be where? They be in that gulf. They be in that burning hell. Cannot touch us. And we will not be able to touch them. Thank you. Amen. Verse 18. <clears throat> they shall see him and despise him. But Elohim shall laugh them to scorn. And they shall hereafter be a vile carcass and a reproach among the dead forevermore. So you will be a reproach amongst yourself forevermore. Why? Because you've been tormented in that burning hell. And you don't realize that you had a chance not to be there. But you chose to do that that is evil. You chose to do that that is wicked. You thought that for that little sport, for that little brief, short time, you thought that you were doing things in your way. And you were. And you thought that you were having fun. But now there's a price that you have to pay, and you're paying that price. You're paying the penalty for being wicked. You're paying the penalty for doing that that is evil. And you have to spend eternity in hell paying that cost. For paying, for being evil, for doing that is wicked, for being sinful, for being disrespectful to Yahuwah Elohim, not obeying his words or his commandments or his statutes. You pay a price, and you shall continue to pay that price for eternity. There is no Savior coming. You will not have Yeshua. You will not have salvation. Because it's impossible to you now. Because you didn't grab it while you had the chance, while you had the opportunity. <coughs> I can tell you now is the time that you should be Repenting of all sins and not wanting to do sin or wickedness anymore. Because the time is coming when it will be what? Too late. Hallelujah. It'll be too late. For he shall rid them and cast them down headlong, that they shall be speechless. And he shall shake them from the foundations. And they shall be utterly laid waste, and be in sorrow, and their memorial shall perish. And when they cast up the accounts of their sins, they shall come with fear, and their own iniquities shall convince them to their faces. Because see, you will have you gonna have the laws of you of your hood, the laws of Torah, and your sins gonna be before you. Bear witness. It's going to bear witness to your wickedness. Uh-huh. And it shall convince you that you have done that that is wicked. Amen. I'll show you. I'll show you. You're going to convince yourself that you have done that that is wicked. Amen. And cannot make it into the kingdom. Because you're going to know that there is truly a Elohim. We just want to be here with you for a brief moment and just say thank you. Thank you for being with us. Spending this more afternoon moment with us. Be Baruch. And could I name you sure how much says? We just say Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you.